There we go. So can you tell me what happened? Uh, yeah, so I, I mean, I woke up, the car was pulling out the wall. <laughs> okay. Took off. Uh, I mean, that's about all that I know. We might have a little bit more on the camera when my mom wakes up, but just uh, saw the black Honda Civic driving off and some people uh, that were driving by when I mm -hmm. came outside, they said they had seen her. So they, they turned around and tried to get a license plate. And so they, they got it and I gave it to dispatch. Okay. Yeah, she left parts of the car here. <laughs> got you. Do you know how much it would be to repair the fence and... Oh, no idea. No idea. To get a landscaper out here, probably at least a couple thousand. Do you, uh, can you describe the vehicle to me? Yeah, I know you said uh, black Honda. Yeah, newer, newer style uh, black Honda. Civic. Okay. And you said a female had glasses? Uh, yeah, that's what the, uh, the neighbors that, that gave me the description. Okay. Alrighty. Hope you have a better night. I'm going to follow a coolant trail to see if I can locate the vehicle. Coolant leak now led to Bouts and El Paseo. Still following it. Night's been 8 Central. I found a suspect vehicle. I'm going to be on Sandale Road off of El, pa El Paseo Road. Can you start me a second? Vehicle still gonna be occupied. You can twenty two my last, it is not. Mm -hmm. I'm she's gonna be in the area somewhere. Do you know who owns, who owns this vehicle? That's my girlfriend. Alright, uh, do you know where she is? Uh, she's in one of these apartments. Can I speak to her? Yeah, what happened? So, it looks like she crashed her car, so I just need to ask her. What's her name? Haley. Haley? Yes. Girl. She is blind. Okay. Are you Haley? Yes, I am. Were you driving this vehicle? Yes. Got you. So what happened? Um, I hit a curb. Hit and a curb. I, like, messed up the front of it. Got you. All right. Can you do me a favor? Can yes. you turn around for me? Yes. Place your hands behind your back. Man, you're being detained for hit and run. I hit a curb. No, ma'am, you hit a you hit someone's wall and you no, hit the fence. I hit a curb. Right. Babe, what's happening? I hit a curb. Come here. Baby, I hit a curb. I hit the curb on Idaho. I hit the curb on Idaho and El Paseo coming down the turn on the no, left-hand side. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah, I have all the evidence. Baby, I hit a curb. I hit a curb, my love. I hit a curb. I'm not sure. Yeah. Do you need any medical attention, man? No, I I hit a curb on El Paseo in Idaho, coming down the turn, going left-handed. Okay. I was coming down the turn from Idaho and El Paseo, going left-handed, and I hit the curb going right there. Okay. Well, we'll Where the little like the like you know how like the little spikes are going. Like kind of up, how they go kind of up, I hit right there. On El Paso coming right down here by the Albersons mm -hmm. and the Arby's. Right. I hit the little spikes going there. That's that's where I hit. Okay, well, we did follow the, 
the fluids from the vehicle as well. You went uh, around through California and then around to uh, Solano and then uh, over here also. Yeah, I live on Princess Chain. I went down Solano and then I came down and I took a right hand turn and I hit the curb. Okay. Or a left I'll hand turn. I'll just tell you what we saw though. So. Okay. But are you are okay though from the okay, No, I'm right fine. Now. Okay. Right. Just, yeah, I'm just gonna speak to you over here, right? Okay, that's fine. I didn't ask any 47. I'm just gonna okay. ask her questions first from Miranda. Okay, yeah. Go from there. So, I'm gonna read you something real quick, and I just wanna ask you some questions from the crash. Okay, that's fine. Alright. So. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any point to exercise these rights and not answer my questions or make any statements. Do you understand these rights as I explained to you? Yes. Alright. So, you crashed into uh, someone's wall, into the fence, and then you backed up, and then you left the scene of the accident. You, I then follow the trail of fluids from your vehicle from Luna Street all the way down to California where it looks like it appeared you stopped for a moment and then continue going because there's a big puddle of fluid in front of California Avenue. And I followed... Yep. So I followed the trail all the way down uh, Solano, then down Idaho, led you all the way down here, followed it from all the way, okay? Follow the drip trail from your car, leaking fluids. Found it here. So, by any chance, do you have anything to drink tonight? No, sir. No? Uh, do you know, why did you crash the car over there? I didn't crash on California. I crashed on Idaho and... No, Elk Luna Trail. Street. Luna. I don't, I did not crash there. I'm, I don't, I crashed on El Paseo and Idaho. I hit the curb a little bit, but that's all I... That's all I did. Okay. Your fluids come from the location, and that's why we're asking. Also, I have a witness that followed you and advised me and gave your exact license plate, gave a description of you, a young female wearing glasses, matches you to a T, from Luna Street. So, it's your vehicle. Your license plate matches from the scene. I also have parts of your car at scene of Luna. So you're, you're also advising you hit stuff on El Paseo by the Albertsons? No, that's the only thing I hit was on the El Paseo by Albertsons. I hit the little curb right there, and that was the only thing I hit. Okay. Did you have anything to drink when you went inside here? No, sir. No. Okay. No, I just came to visit my cousin and talk with her a little bit. And hang out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should I read your implied consent or just do that? Well, if she's already 50 for that, then yes. But if not, I would do the field first. Okay, because she's 15 for the hit and run. run. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so right now you're being under arrest for hit and run. Alright? Just slide your feet in, alright? Okay. So you want to leave your phone and vape with him, correct? Give it, yeah, give it to him, please. He'll okay. he'll take the best care of it. Thank you. You got your phone, so I'll get the Yeah. I'm going to step out.
I'm just gonna ask her first. Did she? Uh, did you ask her or no? If, if, if she's willing to do fields? No, I didn't. I, I just kept talking to her and I didn't. No, that sounds like Haley, would you be willing to do field sobriety tests? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. I'll do them right now. There's a handcuff you. I'm going to go that's in fine. the hallway. I do have a genetic disorder, though, and my balance is kind of off. I have, like, a problem with balancing. Okay. I've always had that since I was little, though. Yeah, I have balancing issues. I have uh, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, and it, it makes it hard to kind of balance for me. I don't have a lot of men muscle density, so it makes it kind of hard to balance. Okay. Of course, we'll take that. Yeah, I have, I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, and it makes it very hard to like balance. And so I've always had that problem. I'm very like shaky. Okay. I'm just, I'm just not good at like standing still or like doing things like that. Gotcha. Okay, we'll take that. Mm -hmm. All righty. So for the first one, what I want you to do is place both feet together, hands down to your side, and you're going to maintain this position, do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I'm going to ask you if you could take off those glasses for a quick moment. Yeah, I can. I have a really bad vision, though, if I'm being super honest with you. Okay. It's super, super bad. That was not a vision test, just as long as you can see the tip of the pen. Can I see my pen? Would I be able to keep the glasses on, honestly? No, it is not, kind not of hard. Um, can I, am I able to squint? Yeah. Is that okay? Okay, cool. I'm just, I'm super, super blind. Can I, like, can you show it to me just like with... Okay, Can you cool. see it to my pen? Yes, I can. Alright, so you're going to follow with your eyes and your eyes only, and you're not going to move your head. Do you understand? Okay, yes. My eyes were blowing a little blurry. Can I like blink for a second? Yeah, you can blink. Okay, sorry. They get kind of dry too. <laughs> Alright, just follow it to my pen. Okay. So for the next one, I'm going to ask you if you could stand over here for me. Okay. On like where the little like brown situation is? Yeah, that works. Yep. Yeah, I can do that. They're my clothes. You can put your glasses back on for this. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Okay. You can see that this line right here? This one? Yes, I can. Okay. So what I'm going to want you to do is you're going to place your left foot on that line, your right foot directly in front of it, heel to toe, and you're going to place both hands down to your side. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm really, really bad at balance. Like, my physical trainer was like, this is something we need to work on. <laughs> okay. So you're going to maintain this position until I tell you to do so. Is okay. it okay if my like feet shake as long as they don't like move off the thing? Because they will like my arches kind of do shake a little bit just to kind of keep my balance. That's fine. Okay. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps down that line. Okay. Uh, while you're doing it, you're gonna look at your feet. You're gonna count each step out loud. At the end of your ninth step, you can take a series of small steps, leaving that lead foot planted on the floor. Do you want me to like flip around and do the little? Steps? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate after. Okay. Cool. So Sorry. after that, you're going to do a series of small small steps, okay. heads down to your side. After those nine steps, you're going to return back down that same line, looking at your feet, doing nine heel to toe steps back. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Can, would you be able to demonstrate it for me just yeah, so I'm gonna make sure I do it correctly? Okay. okay. It's going to look like, like this. One, two, three, all the way down the nine, okay. series of small steps, back down the line, one, two, Three, all the way down to nine. Okay, Do you understand? So just nine up and nine down, basically. Yes. Okay, cool. Put your hands back down to your side. Okay, I'm sorry. I usually want to balance myself, so I'm sorry. Just give me one second. Oh, yeah, just let me know. So I'm sorry if my feet shake. It, it, I can't really control it. <laughs> 
give this one second. So we're... Good. All right, you may begin. Count each step. Keep both hands to your side. How I describe. I'm sorry, I really, I'm very shaky. I, when I get nervous, I have anxiety, and then the syndrome doesn't help with that either. Okay. So for the next one, we're only going to need... Can I keep my slippers on, or should I take them off? It's up to you. After he explains this to us, it's up to you. Okay. okay. Thank you. I'm so sorry. So it's up to you if you want to keep your shoes on or off. Okay. Um, so what you're going to do for me right now, feet together, hands down to your side. Okay. And you're going to maintain this position until to do so. Do you understand? Alright, so what you're going to do, you're going to either choose your left foot, right foot, it's your choice. Okay. Um, you're going to lift it approximately six inches in front of you, parallel to the floor. While you're doing it, you're going to look at your foot the whole time while doing so. You're going to count in the manner 1001, 1002, 1003, so on and so forth while doing so. During this test, you're gonna, you are to keep your hands down to your side, both legs straight and your foot parallel to the floor. So I can do, I can't do like shoulder width apart situation? It has to be down to your okay. sides. Okay. You understand? Yes. Do you have any questions? Uh, no. I, sh I should be able to do it, but again, my balance is kind of shaky, so right. just keep just that in me. mind with me. I'm sorry. I'm really trying my best to do it. Yeah, my balance is just super shaky. Just let me know whenever. So is, it, is this about like six, like about there? It's about the size of the solar panel. Okay. Okay. You may begin. Pick your foot up and count that loud. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand, eleven thousand, twelve thousand, thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand, fifteen thousand, sixteen thousand, seventeen thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten, twenty thousand, twenty-one thousand, twenty-two thousand. Stop. Sorry, I'm so, so sorry. My balance is really, really bad. I'm really trying my best. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> Put your shoes back on. Put your hands on. I'll ask her. What's that? Probably going to ask her. She's going to have to put the handcuffs back on. All right. Generally, my balance is very bad. <laughs> I'll be walking across the kitchen and I stumble. Like, generally, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Good? Yes, that's fine. And this one's good too? Yeah, that's fine. Would you be able to take this one just like a tad bit inside? Yeah. Maybe like a notch or something, that's possible. Better? Yes, no, that's fine. Thank you so much. I think there's still a nail in there. Or they took them out?
Come check you out. and then you start breathing back in again, okay? Try that for me, okay? And count it. Okay. Two. Two. Three. I'm sorry, what was this? One second. There you go. That was... You were doing good. Sorry. I feel like this. We're good, Joel. Uh, not me? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, please, that's where I usually go. Okay, yes, perfect. Multiple, not MMC, not MMC. We're going out. Okay, great. Okay, keep, keep working that, that box breathing. You're just going to fall? Yeah, I'm going to fall. All right. Sounds good. We'll meet you there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, a couple bumps. I'm going to out here. Citation for due care collision, but it's going to be a warning. 
Okay. What, I'm sorry, what does that mean? Do you, care, you failed to use, like, careful driving. To oh, so like, if you're going through, like, an intersection and you, like, fail to yield. Yeah, to that's do care. Oh, okay. Thank you. That's just sorry. a warning. If you can just explain things to me like I'm a five-year-old, that'd be great. <laughs> That's how I tell my boyfriend to explain the things about me. Like if my car needs an oil change, I explain it to me like I'm a five year old, please. Sorry, I'm just gonna follow it down. I need to do Be in the Would I be able to have them in front of me instead of behind me? It hurts my not. shoulders because they pop in and out of place. I have a second set. I can put those on, but okay. they have to be behind your back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Let's grab this. I'll put the heat back on. So it's going to be a little cold in there because the car's off, but I'm going to turn the heat on right away. Thank you.